Lovren uh, start some battles on Master League. Today I'm going to use Mewtwo on the lead with Wanderers and Yalg in the back. I can say this is probably my favorite team to run in Master League, let's find out how this team will perform. This is a geared in uh, Origin lead. For me it's a bad lead but I usually stay in and go for Shadow Ball. This was CMP. So, so most of the people threw the Shadow Ball and I don't shield. Let's see what this guy decides to do here. Decides to bait, okay. I'm going for the Shadow Ball. Let's see if this guy decides to shield it and farm the rest, okay. This guy is will farm the rest of the Mewtwo, which is fine. I will bring the Alga. This could be Shadow Ball, but it's okay by me. I can tank it. Okay, nice. It's a Zacian now. And this will be kind of tough because I need shields to beat Zacian with the Alga, so probably I have to throw a higher net and switch for Landrus, but let's see how this guy will play now. No more shields, nice, I will bring Landrus. I don't want to risk that last shield. Let's see what this guy is running now. Clear off for Wild Charge, it's Wild Charge, which is fine. I can tank another one without problems. So, now that guy probably will switch. Okay, I'll go for, I have to get rid from this Giratina first. And probably this guy is weak against Landers in the back, let's see. Session again. So, Session will go down now. And let's see, it's uh, Shernius with Geomancy. I never saw this move before, but I guess this guy has two close combats prepared, so I have to shield one and throw immediately my Iron Head after that. And this is going to be a good game. So, I counted seven Geomancy. Probably that will cost two close combats there, so it's a good game. Don't know if Chernius will be broken with the Geomancy. It looks like a Snarl. Probably is going to be better because Geomancy has, has, deep, so has the same type of Chernius, it's a fairy type move. And you need the Elite Fast TM to get it. At the moment, I guess you can get it, but after the Chernus will be released globally with the Jomasi, you will get it. So this guy now catch my side strike. I threw that six because most of the guys switch for Metagross at seven, but this guy just switch at six. It's kind of weird for me, so I have to stand in with Mewtwo, apply pressure on that shields, and yeah, I gotta shoot this move, and then I'm going to throw the Shadow Ball in CMP which is 7 now, okay, this was CMP, which is great for me, this guy was not tempting to farm Mewtwo, and now let's see if I can throw a side strike on that Dry Knight in the back, no, still okay, I will bring Yaldo, probably this guy has a Escadrille in the back, <laughs> I know that team because he's too popular, okay, and now it's a Escadrille, so a really obvious team, but still a good team. And this guy is running a mud slap instead of the mud shot. Not great because with that mud slap, I can safely farm through the super power, and then throw like two stone edge on that dragonite. I gotta shoot this first move. Okay, this dragonite is almost reaching another dragon ball, so I have to be fast here. Let's see if it's enough. Okay, first one is shielded, and this is going to be a good game. I was tempting to bait with the super power, but it would be risky because if this guy decides not to shield, <laughs> it would be so embarrassing to lose like that. So let's move for the next battle. So the Dragon Knight Metagross Escadrille is a really popular team, as I said before. So I knew that guy probably had the Escadrille in the back. Some people run the Mel Metal instead of the Escadrille, but it's usually the same thing. So this is a Hell Holy. Not the best lead, but not the worst. I usually stay in with Mewtwo. Okay, this guy now has a Sacred Fire prepared. I got a shield, it was Sacred Fire. And now I will force the first shield from Ho Ho, I guess. Let's see. Shield, nice. And this guy just bring Gyalga, trying to catch my Psy Strike. And I will bring Landris. So if you have the correct breakpoints for Landras, 
like 15 defense here and 14 HP you can throw two superpowers on the Alga without spending a shield in this situation I'm doing this and most of the players use the shield to shield the first superpowers and now you have shield advantage you lost the switch advantage but you win shield advantage in this case scenario I guess is better because the Alga is healthy and now it's a Kyogre in the back and there is nothing this guy can do at this point because I know this is a surf. I still have like almost two side strikes prepared in the back with Mewtwo. I will throw this Draco Meteor and switch safely for Mewtwo. And this oh ho is cooked now. Good game. So, as you see, that was an usual play throwing the Alga when I reached the third side strike energy. I never throw the the side strike like that because I still have the shield and I want to win some fast moves. But this guy just throw immediately the Dialga, so I have to bring Landros there. So now this is a Zacian lead, which is a fine lead. This guy has Snarl. I guess with Snarl it's a more boring match for me too because Snarl will do super effective damage. And let's see what this guy has. It's a wild charge, okay. Okay, and yeah, I was petting this, but I, I throw immediately the side strike, which is fine, okay. I will bring Dialga here, and the game plan here is to throw Draco Meteor when this guy reach energy for Aeroblast, which is cost 9 Dragon Tails. So, I know this guy has an Aeroblast prepared, I throw Draco Meteor, probably this guy was thinking that I was going to bait. I usually don't bait on these situations, because... If the guy calls a bait, it's really bad, and I will be with really low HP. So I guess I'm going to show this again. And this guy is staying in with Session, which is kind of weird to know what this guy is in the back. Okay, Zashin, Lugia... Not sure, probably Diablo. We'll bring Landers, he's a Evelt, okay, and I made this sex swap there. Probably that guy just throw the phone through the window <laughs> with this sex up because now I can flip this game. It would be tough, but I can flip this game with that play. Let's see. I hope this guy is not running the hurricane, it would be really bad. <laughs> Most of the players won't run the hurricane because they need the focus blast to get rid from steel types like Mel Metal, Dialga. So, and I now I farm as much as I could, and I will throw the super power. And I guess I can beat the Zacian in the back. Let's see. Too close, as I like I was saying. I need I needed to do that sex up with Mewtwo, and this just bring me the win there. So, good game, really close this one. Probably this player is hitting me because that sex up, but I needed to do it. And the guy was not prepared for my sex swap. So let's move for the final battle now. And let's see if I can pick finally the rank expert because... I usually pick expert rank earlier and this season I'm not playing too much and I didn't pick the expert rank yet. So this is a Dragonite lead, probably that same team. Don't know, let's see. This guy shoot the first strike. Probably was thinking it could be a high spin, don't know. Okay. I guess I can let it go Mewtwo. I got two shields from Dragonite, so it's fine. Probably is Metagross with Eskadril, I will bring Dialga. Inside not to shield, let's see, it was super power, it's okay. Now it's uh, Eskadril. So, I will let it go the first Rock Slide. And then I will throw in the CMP for the next rock slide, which is 5. This Escadrill will go down now, really fast, so goodbye. I still have 2 shields, and now it's Dragonite again, I will throw Stone Edge immediately. I don't want to suffer those Dragon Breaths on my Landras, so Dragonite is down, and now it's Metagross. So that's the typical team. And I have 2 shields, it's impossible to lose this game at this point. So Landras has made a huge job there. And I will bring Dialga, and this player can give up, 
because I still have two shields. Two meteor mash wouldn't, wouldn't be enough to kill my Yaga that trench with shields. And Draco Meteor will shoot down that Metagross before this guy decides to give up. So I get this awesome Meryl as a reward. And this was the 5 0. And now I will pick the expert rank finally. So there's a few days now to end the season. I will try to reach Legend. Let's see if it's possible. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.